Hey everyone, welcome to this brand new series called Omni Studio Starter for Beginners. The notion behind this series is to give you a basic idea of what Omni Studio is and how to get started with Omni Studio development. We are going to keep the video simple and easy to understand. Do let me know in the comments down below if you have any queries. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is free of cost but does encourage the content creator. Alright, so today we would introduce ourselves to Omni Studio. Omni Studio is a digital engagement suite that simplifies and accelerates digital transformation. It has drag and drop configuration capabilities that can be used to create guided brand experience specific to their industry with clicks rather than code. From this definition, it may not be crystal clear. So let's move to the next slide where we discuss why do we need Omni Studio. Now, if you are familiar with the software development life cycle, you must be aware of the fact that software development takes a considerable amount of time. Now, this is the diagram that shows the software development life cycle known as SDLC. With increasing market demand, customers want a basic yet fully functional application delivered within strict timelines. To counter this, Salesforce not only provides industry-specific clouds but also point-and-click automation tools like Process Builder and Flows and drag-and-drop development capability. This is where Omni Studio comes into the picture. This helps developers to develop, deploy and deliver products much faster as compared to custom code, hence able to meet the increasing demand. Moving on to the components of Omni Studio. At a high level, we can say that it has got three layers as shown in the screen. Now, if you think about it, what every application ever does is accept some input from the user, does some processing on it and show some output to the user. For now, you can think of the digital experience layer as a mean of taking user inputs and showing output to the user. Now, if we elaborate the processing part about an application a bit more, then we can say that all it includes is either a mathematical or logical calculation along with CRUD operations. If you are not familiar with the CRUD, it basically means create, read, update or delete a record from the database. This is what the service layer is all about. The last layer that is developer experience deals with the deployment part of the Omni Studio after development. Now let's go through each of the components that are available in these different layers. So we have Omni Studio flex cards and Omni scripts in the digital experience layer. Flex cards are basically cards that display contextual information and actions in an at-a-glance format for customer account data or any other Salesforce object. Omniscript is again a guided path to complete a business process. Don't worry, we'll go through each of them in detail in our upcoming videos. This is for the introduction only. The service management layer has data raptors and integration procedures. Data raptors are used to configure service for retrieving, transforming and updating data. While integration procedures are declarative server side processes that execute multiple actions in a single server call. When it comes to the developer experience layer, we have IDX build tool that is a command line automation tool that packages and migrates Omni Studio data packs in a source control friendly format. IDX Workbench is a desktop application that enables developers to migrate data packs 
and Salesforce metadata from one org to another or from an org to a Git repository. Now, how do we get started? First, of course, you'll have to follow these video tutorials that I'm making known as the starter series for Omni Studio. And apart from this, you also need to have a development environment so that you can follow along with the tutorials. Given below is the link on which you can register yourself so that you get a developer environment for yourself. And now I will be showing you a demo of how to do that. So let's copy paste this URL into the browser. Now you have to enter your details in the given form along with your email address. You can select the role as developer. Let me quickly fill it up. This will take some time and after some time you must be receiving an email on the account detail that you have mentioned while filling the form. Once you receive the email from Salesforce, all you have to do is confirm your account and reset your password and then you would be able to log in to the development environment. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for more.